So now I'm going to talk quickly about the outline, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use essay or essay uh, tool. Okay, so create an outline. Don't write paragraphs yet. So create an outline. For example, I might create an outline that looks something like this. Okay, so the introduction. The introduction is very, 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 very important. You have to hook your reader with a very nice life experience and something that make the reader want to continue reading. Each person, when they were like in the interview or like in the, uh, so each program, when they like review person statement, they have like four or 500 person statement initially to go through. So you have to write a strong paragraph, very nice, very unique paragraph about you. And uh, it should be very well written. It's just like the interview. The first five minutes of the interview, it's very important. The most important question in the interview is tell me about yourself. Because in that question, you have to tell about yourself, the achievements and things you've done. Okay. And the same applies here. Outline, the introduction, hook is very important. Something that is like from your experience. And some people might agree and disagree on what is an effective hook uh, because like some people are against of using cliches and like um, also like um, the like uh, quotes from other books um, like to be or not to be that is the question you, this is very cheesy and this is very like uh, um, like cliche but there are other hooks that are stronger so again this comes from lots of reading so that's why the first step of creating a person statement is reading okay so and then for example I'm gonna write about what are my strengths I'm gonna write a paragraph about my strengths so describe yourself your qualities your activities your personal characteristics and always 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 back up every strength with example whether it's personal statement whether it's interview i can't emphasize this enough last week i've been interviewing people and they, they tell me oh like i'm a very hard worker and perfectionist oh says who like i i, I can say that about that that about myself uh and like if you don't give me an example if you don't give me a, a real life experience no one will believe you the same applies for personal statement the same applies for interviews so describe your strengths with backup examples Okay, um, avoid stating general things that you love problem solving, you have helping people. Uh, yeah, everyone loves helping people. That's why they got into medicine. Be, be realistic, like don't uh, say general things. Okay, and then I decided to write something about leadership experience back home. For example, I, I'm just giving an example. I led an organization to help on people in underserved areas and to like provide the clinics uh, or I led an organization to spread awareness about contraception and family planning and we went to rural areas and I was the leader about that organization so I want to write about that experience my role the number of people that I supervised the number of people we saw a day um, the achievements the outcomes we were able to uh, uh, lecture 1,000 or 2,000 females or we were able to vaccinate 1,000 or 2,000 patients okay it's nice to uh, de uh, talk about like experiences and give details okay um, and um, also it's important when you w w when you talk about experience put yourself in the reader's shoes because sometimes some something can make sense in one country but doesn't make sense in another country uh, or like uh, for example like patient-centered cares and teamwork it's something that is very common in Canada and the US but it's not the same in the Middle East or third world countries um, so it's not like that so always put yourself uh, in the reader's shoes when you when, when you describe an experience and then um, I'm gonna write about volunteering experience I had and then I'm gonna tell them why this is a specialty and then why this is a program so that's the outline that I created by myself like this is very random uh, so I'm going to create this outline. I'm going to, to I will show you how you can create this in essay, um, and uh, we can go from there. Um, you, you you can notice that th th these are like many paragraphs, and it might be like two thousand words. That's fine. But I'm going to write them down, and then I'm going to cut back. Like I will write fifty percent or twenty five percent more than the required, and then I can cut things down.